Hey guys, I'm your Huckleberry. Before I start with anything Bayonetta related, I want to just first off say thank you. Thank you to each and every last one of you for the 70 subscribers. I'd also like to thank you all for pushing my most recent video to 1.8k views. While it may not seem like a lot of subs to you guys, to me, it feels amazing and I can't thank everyone enough. You guys are awesome. Please, give yourselves a pat on the back. I'm clapping for you. Keep it going. Mm. But, with this upscale and subs, I feel like there's room for improvement for us to all grow in. I've always been a very firm believer that constructive criticism is very important for self-improvement. I've learned that only 4.9 of you guys, including you, yeah, you, I see you, on your phone, eating snacks on your bed with no socks, listening to me right now, probably a little bit unfit, please consider subscribing to me so you can keep seeing more videos to learn more about Bayonetta. Come on, man, we're a team. Let's do this together. And with that, I've also learned that only three of you all got the notification for my video being dropped. So, first and foremost, for those three people, give yourselves another round of applause. You guys deserve it. I love you. You're awesome. As for the rest of y'all, step your game up, man. Turn that notice button on right now. Stop being behind. You got it, all right? Now, with all's being said and done, I'll stop harassing you all and talk about what you're all here for. Bayonetta content. Ta-da! As I've been looking into Bayonetta 3, I've been wondering exactly what kind of role the eyes of the world are gonna have to play in the story since, I mean, as we know, the eyes of the world will be implemented into the story somehow, some way. The way I stumbled upon this knowledge, though, was by making a video just going over a theory on if the Bayonetta we'll be playing as in Bayonetta 3 is our Bayonetta or some other faker. That's something I urge you to check out, which you can right here for the most context you possibly have. And while going over it, I ended up missing out on the few things that were dropped around, I mean, I guess, unfortunately, the same day my video was released. Just my luck, huh? One of the things that I missed out on was potential arguments for Bayonetta having the eyes of the world and that she's had them since the beginning of Bayonetta 3. Not just that she develops it later on, but she's had it since, since whenever. Meaning, she can't be our Bayonetta. And by the time of this video, I may or may not have released my follow-up video on that theory. If it is, you'll see it on the upper right corner of the screen. If not, just be a little patient, please. I love you guys. But I've realized, Bayonetta having them from the beginning of the story is a very, to say the least, underwhelming, anticlimactic, and honestly more than everything, just unlikely way of writing stuff. Whether this is a new Bayonetta, or it's our Bayonetta, I'm of the belief that she won't just start right off the bat with both eyes of the world, or even one of the moon, but rather like to think she'll just eventually obtain them as the game progresses. How could that possibly happen though, Huckleberry? I mean, what game have you been playing exactly? We've seen that in Bayonetta 2, Loki erased the eyes of the world from the main Bayonetta's timeline. So that would quite literally be impossible. They don't exist. There is no way- SHUT UP! No, it would not. Last time I presented the idea that Bayonetta will have them, I said that the means of accessing them is that Bayonetta will somehow obtain the eyes of the world from another universe. However, this time, this time, I'm gonna get a little bit more creative. But before I do, I'm gonna put a very blunt, bold, and just in-your-face disclaimer that what I will say next will potentially have very strong spoilers for Bayonetta 3. So if you're not interested and would rather just figure it out as you play, please just give the video a thumbs up, sub, share this video, turn on post noties, make sure that this thing spreads out to whoever you can get it to, and click off. As, like I just said, I love you guys. I don't want to ruin your experience with this game for you. So, with that being said, I'll give you to the count of five to get off. And I'll even count extra slow for you. One, two, three, four, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 
four point four, four and a half. Oh my god, five! You're you, you're you're probably gone. Five. Okay, if you're still here, that should mean you're ready to hear me out, or that you're just extremely indecisive. Well, I mean, I can't help you there. Sorry. <laughs> Man, this is awkward. About four years ago. Around the time of the teaser trailer that we first got before we kind of got blue balled for like the next four years or so I think it was three Anyways, there were two posts uploaded on 4chan with potential bayonetta leaks that all link down below Now, I mean I usually wouldn't even bother acknowledging such a thing because These things are usually faked or can just have some very misleading info that ends up contradicting what we actually get when the product is released. But this time around, at least some of the leaks that we've seen so far are surprisingly accurate and very interesting when you realize that this thing has come out four years ago and the game has yet to even come out. Back then, I think the most we had was that trailer. We didn't have any kind of trailers to work off of for things like Bayonetta 3 in-game footage. Just one teaser, so that's, that's pretty interesting to say the least. But, I don't want to just sit there and make that claim without proving it. So, I'll make a little checklist here on a few of them. Game runs in the latest Platinum Games engine? Check. Her outfits are more down to earth than in the last two games? Check. And even then, I can sit there and argue all day about why this doesn't ruin her sense of fashion. Sexual content is there, but not as prominent. <laughs> Sorry, pervs. Well, I mean, not so much because you can always just turn off naive angel mode. But check! So, what does this leak have to do with Bayonetta obtaining the eyes of the world? Well, in the leaks, one of the leaks is that Bayonetta will be rebuilding Paradiso, Inferno, and the New Earth to obtain what is called the Enlightened Mind, the heart of darkness, and the thing that we all know and have been wondering over, the eyes of the world. But what if I told you? Bayonetta won't be receiving the eyes she already had in the form that they were in. If this theory is true, it almost implies Bayonetta is going to create her own pair of them. Now, what are these other things exactly? Like, we know what the eyes of the world are. I mean, we've had two whole games dedicated to them. But, we don't know what these other two things are. But, we can probably make inductives off them. They're seemingly being used synonymously with the human realm and the eyes of the world as their realm's main artifact of power. So, the Heart of Darkness being Inferno's equivalent of the eyes of the world, which we've actually probably already seen in-game. And the Enlightened Mind being Paradiso's equivalent of the Eyes of the World, which we also might have already seen in-game. Hmm. It is also very interesting when you put each of these pieces into conjunction with the title Bayonetta has only specifically been given in this third installment of the series. The Witch of Genesis. Genesis meaning the origin or mode of the formation of something, or in other words, creation, and I'd like to think you already know what the and which means, so I won't talk about them. And in the weekly Famitsu, I hope I'm saying that right, article that's been deemed as credible by Platinum Games, she's also called the Witch of Creation. So Bayonetta essentially might not just regain the eyes of the world, but might do something as crazy as recreate them. And what this would mean, if true for Bayonetta, is that she's basically gonna become the literal creator and goddess of the Trinity of Realities, essentially of not just Jubileus, not just Queen Sheba, but both of them and Aesir all at the same time. If this theory is true, our beloved witch is about to become a monster, yo. She's about to be a smoke demon who's gonna pull up and ain't nobody doing nothing to her. She's literally the god of whatever realm that they have a problem with her is from. Anyways, that's basically the theory. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Me personally, I... Well, I mean, I guess I feel that there are a lot of things that actually support this theory within the trailers and that it isn't really something that's a super huge stretch to speculate on, surprisingly enough. But, like I say all the time, these are just theories that are always going to be fallible. We'll just have to wait and see until Bayonetta 3 drops. 
that's all today, but before you guys go, please consider sticking around and checking out some of my older videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notice, and share this idea or this video with your friends as it would really help me out and would also motivate me to put out more content like this that you guys can enjoy. It's been your Huckleberry. Peace!